And look at this. The moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to put some dirt in your eye. Good evening, folks. My name is Tommy. Welcome to the video. If you guys enjoy this one, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Now, today we're using a very special little fella. This is a Selgor, of course. Known for being a good spikes lead, a good choice specs user. But we're going to try something a little bit different today. We have the Mudshot Bug Buzz Throat Spray set with Unburden. And I think it's going to do well. I think there's definitely some potential for this set. It's been sent to me by my viewers a couple times. I didn't think of it myself, but I thought, I gotta bring this thing, it's so good. This thing is obviously getting the unburdened boost when you use your throat spray, which activates when you use a sound based move, e.g. bug buzz. So you get your plus one per attack, you get your incredible speed, you're already faster than nearly everything. I mean that particular spread is enough for Timid Max Whimsicott, right? The defense EVs, now you might be wondering what's the point of that, why put some of the speed into defense? Well, it actually lets you live a couple of hits. So you can live a Life Orb, a Cell Rock, from Lycan Rock. I mean, that's that's a good thing to be able to take, because that will often try and revenge kill you. And you'll live a couple of other hits too, so I think it's a decent trade-off there. You don't need max speed anyway. But yeah, we got Bug Buzz, e -ball, Sludge Bomb for Fairies, like Rabombi, and then the all-powerful Mud Shot. Why am I running Mud Shot over Focus Blast, you ask? Well... Number one, I will avoid Focus Blast wherever I possibly can. I can't stand using that move. Number two, Mudshot's funny. Everyone wants to click on the video that says Mudshot or Selgor. No one cares about the video that says Focus Blast or Selgor. Let's be honest. And Mudshot, also, the things that you need Focus Blast for, so Magneton, Togedemaru, Colossal, things like that, Mudshot hits them quite effectively anyway. I mean, still technically weaker than Focus Blast because it's such a weak move, but at least you're not going to miss Focus Blast every single time. So, fun move. I like it. Lead Pilot Swine with Rocks and Triple Stab. We have nice Swords Dance Double for trying to break stuff down, especially fat stuff like Ordino. That's why I got CC. I mean, I could have put on like Gallade or Absol, to be honest, but I thought Double fit in well here. A little bit more priority, too. Zivali Poison, just for defogging. I never know what to run on this thing. Flamethrower is the usual go-to because it hits steel types especially. But I like Grass Pledge because it hits ground and rock types. There's also Surf, which hits those as well, so I might swap between the moves throughout the session, we'll see. We'll start with that. multi attack U-turn and defog. Nice sub, Calm Mind or Rangaroo. Now, I know that looks like a weird spread, but it is specifically to outspeed base 80s uninvested and to not have your subs broken by knockoff or Dino. So, a bit of a weird one, but I like it. It can definitely do some damage. And a fairly standard Charizard. Gives us a little bit more speed, gives us obviously a nice powerful fire move, so yeah, it's good. We've got Scorching Sands to catch stuff like Gigalith on switching. Hope you enjoy this one, folks. Let's get on with the games. Okay, so I actually did notice a couple of things to change. So we got Ice School Crash here instead of Edge, which is better for most leads. We have Scorching Sands, just for, you know, rock types like Colossal, Gigalith. I thought I'd try Grass Pledge on this thing. I mean, Flamethrower is good as well, but we'll start with that and see how it goes. So, Savali is an excellent lead. Can just go straight for the U-turn here. It's the bandit set. Okay, unexpected. We're gonna go straight for the nature power. Ted Cruz. In what way is that Ted Cruz? <laughs> I don't get it. I want to see what he has. Tar shot. Bruh. Please don't be heat crash. That would be really annoying. Fire blast, okay. So it actually does break subs. Let's go for a shadow ball. Oh, that's epic. What a turn that was. Grid didn't matter. This thing's a monster. Goes to Ron DeSantis. 
Well, we're going straight to Charizard. Now, I, I am almost certain that this is the... What do you call it? The steam engine? So we're just going to hurricane. <laughs> we're not giving this thing a boost to sweep us. No way. We go for Scorching Sands. President Brandon. Okay, don't quite know what this is going to be. Tempting to go Oranguru, actually. Switch into that, which I hope is Banded Poltergeist. I don't know. And then we'll just sub up and see what he does. Horn Leech, yes, understandable. Grassy Terrain goes, perfect. That's just Shadow Ball. For a nice, nice zero percent. This is a Salt Vest. Damn it. Oh, right, whatever. We're just going to go for damage. Yeah, that is, that is definitely an Assault Vest set. That's a suck Punch. This is a very cheeky team. Colossal with a bunch of grass types. It's very cheeky. Pilot Swine definitely takes one. So I'm just going to Ice School Crash. That's a, a big threat dealt with. So I shot here just goes Colossal, fair enough. We have a little Chroma Speed. I'll just get a Rocks though, whatever. So we live that thanks to the Thick Fat. Very nice, very nice. I don't think there's any use for this, is there? Get off some chippy damage. Right, the only problem is Corsola. That thing's going to be a, a menace to take down. But I suppose we're just Scorching Sands. That's pretty safe play. Have we got a burn on this? No? Okay. Okay. Whirlpool! My god. This is going to be a nightmare to take down. <laughs> Grass Pledge for zero damage, that's good stuff. And what, Strength Zap last move, I'm guessing? Oh, Strength Zap Nightshade, you know what I mean. What a fucking nightmare that was. Oh, we got Dub Blade. Just Swords Dance. Alright, I've had enough. We're doing this. Shadow Claw. Nice. And again. Right, we're in an excellent position. President Brandon is going to drop. Yeah, I'm not entirely convinced that Thwacky actually can knock us out. Honestly. Is that Eevee Light? Yeah, that's, that's pretty strong. Okay. Let's try this. Let's go to... Charizard, obviously. The hurricane once again. I 
Now, how do we take this down? Maybe we try and burn it. Oh, we actually might have killed a hurricane. I didn't think it would even come close. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Another one. Come on, idiot. Up, bruh. Gotta keep yourself healthy for that. A bomb of snow. Actually, I'm just thinking if he's. Yeah, I guess he would be faster, so I still gotta be careful of the steam engine. He fucking disabled my. I don't believe it. And he's soundproof, so I can't even use my bug buzz. Maybe roost once. What's he gonna do? Oh no! Right, maybe he thought I didn't have. If he went to Colossal on that turn, that would have been the greatest play of all time. I swear to god. Alright, get him out of there. Rough game. <laughs> Very rough. Very unusual team. It's cool though, I like it. Alright, nice mod shot kill there. I need to watch out for Sucker Punch, obviously, but aside from that, the Selgo's looking pretty good. Pilot's one lead, yeah. It's, nothing directly threatens it. Maybe an offensive Elder Goss. We'll see. Also, Charizard is incredible against this team. So we get Rocks up first. You're a madman. You're an absolute madman. I would never make that play. With Charizard. What the fuck? There's no respect for Pilus One. Zero respect. That doesn't make sense to me. Get rocks up. Maybe it's just a suicide lead. Maybe that's the point. Okay. Right. So anyway. We're going to go to... Rafiki. For more fucking hazards. Try and sub up. Now, this thing we can set up on. This is one of those mons that just doesn't have the power. Well, that was a crit rapid spin, so let's do this. Okay, yeah. Nature Power you. Big. And the beautiful thing here is he can't suck a bunch because... Well, Nature Power doesn't count. Also, I could have subbed, so that's kind of funny that he clicked that, but... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Nature Power. It's a beautiful move. Can he stop this now? I don't know if he can. I've always loved. What? What have you always loved? I'm just going to watch out for Encore on this thing, so I don't want to set up. Disable? Oh, for fuck's sake. Bruh. <laughs> is this where he reveals the Encore as well? Or maybe it's just Nasty Plot Flamethrower, we'll see. But I think we're in such a good position with this thing's bulk. We'll be alright. Yeah, there's Nasty Plot. This is like the 
the Salazzle special. Maybe he takes this thing down now. Maybe. Right, no, it's not going to happen. He's not taking me down. So let's go for Shadow Ball here. It crits us. Okay. I understand. It happens. Well, there's no priority on this team. Then again, stuff needs to be weakened a bit for a cell goal. Let's just go to this. Scorching Sands. Come on, man, don't do this. Don't do this disable shit. <laughs> nice. Very cool set, I like it. Well, you died of this, I'm pretty sure. Goodbye. Alright, let's think about this. Ah, let's not. Let's Hurricane. There's the all-powerful glare. I'll just try and flamethrower. What you got for me, man? Get rid of that. That's beautiful. Now, obviously, Glaceon comes in. But we can just do this. As we fucking die, get obliterated. I actually think it's a good idea to... Defog. And then we can basically get off a free CC on this thing. You know, no flamethrower, unfortunately, but what can you do? Yeah, because that basically means we can then go to this thing. Just CC. I don't need him dead, I just need him low. Potter Swine. Motherfucker. Back to Sanic. It's kind of funny actually, because even if he glares us, we're still going to be faster than everything. So let's go to. Mm, just go part one here. Eat that up. Rocks. Now I'm going to try this. Back to this thing. So you still for glare, rest, earthquake. So I can bug buzz here, get mine burned, and then still be quicker than everything. So I think we're good, to be honest. Oh yeah, we're good. Look at this power, ladies and gents. Also, female Sonic. Excuse me. Yeah, and obviously that dies to energy ball, so yeah, we're good. Okay, next one, Mustafa the Muslim. And it's looking like we might have a bit of a problem with the bulky ones here. Ferrisseed, not good for a cell gore. Alchemy, also not good for a cell gore. Unless we weaken it. So that's tricky. It's a very tough one. Also, I wish I had Stone Age here. We're going to try... Uh, we'll leave the part of swine. I think that's fine. I'd like to just get off an earthquake. Obviously with thick fat, so it's not a huge deal, that. Very nice. Now we try and anticipate the power whip. Let's 
It's looking good, boys. It's looking good. It doesn't really matter if he goes to Center Scorch. Double Flamethrower. This guy's insane. It's actually insane. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, whatever. One down. One thing that stops the Selgor down. The main thing, you might say. That is an odd switch. But I guess we're not going to Oko it, so... Let's get out of there. Alright, let's see. Ice Core Crash first. As he just kills us, I guess he's got some... Maybe some offensive investment there. Hmm. I wonder if he has... What do you call it? Stone Edge. Alright, it's time. I know it's early, but I'm going for it. <laughs> Please don't have Stone Edge. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. Another one. Let's see what we do with Sludge Bomb. That is a big crit. I feel like it might have just lived. I can't be bothered running the numbers. But that was big, let me tell you. And look at this. The moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to put some dirt in your eye. And he's gone. And that thing dies to Sludge Bomb. Ferrisseed will live one, by the way. So that would have been the first switch in, in my opinion, but... How do we live that? The defense EVs actually let us live that. That's amazing. I thought we'd still die. I mean, we have 730 speed. <laughs> Dear God. How did this happen? Yeah, and that, you know. Sludge Bomb kills that, and that dies to anything, so. Mud Shot coming through. Oh man, this is rough. This is very rough. What the hell are we supposed to do with a Selgor here? Not good. I don't know, I guess we'll leave Pardoswine. <laughs> Sand Slash, we'll just go for a nice ice cool crash to start with. Hey, if Sand Slash goes down, that's a big deal. Nice. Another? Sure. Not quite going to die to a couple of earthquakes there, so we've got to be a bit careful. I like the Charizard though, let's do that. Then we can go for Scorching Sands, try and catch the Gigalith. Okay, yes. Right, okay, fine. I thought we'd try it again. <laughs> nice. Go back to Parliswine. MVP Parliswine. Let's go for an ice cool crash, expecting Gorgost. Which is the play I would have made. And now that is in range of the sneak, which is amazing. Sorry, Ice Shard, you know what I mean. For real, MVP of the team. Back to Charizard. Yeah, don't care about that. I guess we'll go for a burn. I, I'm sure his last move is aromatherapy, but it can't hurt to burn him along the way. Let's think about this. I mean, I'm really not sure what what my good switch into this is. Double blade? Not really. I also think he's going to Earthquake, but I'm not prepared to risk it. Alright, fuck it, we're going to Double blade. Alright, sweet. So, 
I'm willing to bet on Garbador coming in here. So maybe we just go for the Sword Stance. And try and wear him down a bit with the Shadow Claw. Which is it's kind of rough because we're going to take some helmet damage, but... You know, that's nice. I'll take it. We're still alive. Sound slash. Yeah, let's just go for the sneak, whatever. Right, I think we try Savali first. And we have Grass Pledge, which is this, and Gigalith, which is fine. The problem is, Ferris Seed we can't touch, so we've got to play a little bit careful around that. How much does this do? Ah, good, excellent. Absolutely fucking nothing. Not concerned about this, actually. What we'll do is we go straight to Rafiki. A little bit of chip, that's fine. We'll just try and calm mind. Maybe get a cheeky burn here. Rest! Bruh. <laughs> that's the shit I don't like. Well, we've got a Shadow Ball here, in case he goes to Sand Slash. Unfortunately, I know that this thing can break subs, so let's see if it actually goes for Gyrable. It goes for Leech, that's fair enough. So we dodged that, that's brilliant. I'm just going to go for Nature Power, try and get a burn. Yeah, okay. Nothing I can do about that. Try and get a little bit more chip off. Don't need him dead, just need him low. And a Nature Power, because it's funny. Okay, looks good. That goddamn thing's at 100%, unfortunately. I'd say... I'd say now's a good time to go to this. Because Gigalith is, you know, max sleep turn still. Get that activated, that's nice. Oh, Romantis, so that's perfect. Can do some massive damage to this. Huge! May as well E-Ball. I mean, it's fine, like, we still have Pardis Wine for this. It really doesn't matter. It's big damage. Just to be extra sure, we'll go for Scorching Sands just to weaken this thing a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And then obviously Pardis One comes in and is guaranteed a victory. Simple as. Even with the infamous Sand Rush, Sand Slash. That's a very nice one. GG, my friend. Oh, that's a tough one. We got Hatchroom and no knockoff. I did not think this through. <laughs> well, maybe we can just set up on it. Maybe that's our play. We'll leave Pilot Swine. Well, no, he'll probably go Basculin. Lead Savali. Vikavolt. Okay, let's get the fuck out of there. Into pile of shit. Now, are you one of these Giga Drain Hatcherum, I wonder? Yes, okay. We try to sub up. There's the nuzzle. There it is, boys. We're just going to calm mind once. 
Alright, this is a great position. So first we're going to go for Shadow Ball. Because Vika Vault, that's cool. We should have no problem taking one hit. Yep, that's good. We're in an excellent spot here. Atrium could still be a problem, because they normally run Mystical Fire. So I've got to be a little bit careful. Weaken it a little bit so that it's guaranteed in range of a Selgor. And we'll just Nature Power here. That's whatever. Something gets hit hard. Absolutely, that drops, right? Ooh, not quite, not quite. <laughs> Pretty close. I'm really thinking of saving this, but I don't think it's worth it at the same time. So one thing I definitely want to do is defog. I think that's a smart move. Well, those damn things are just going to die to recoil anyway, right? Let's just click a U-turn. It goes out to Kino trying to catch the defog. That's a good play. We have foreseen this eventuality, ladies and gents. Now we just ice cool crash. It's gonna do a shitload. <laughs> Psych. Never mind. You know what? I like the look of double blade now that Absol's low. Would have been great to keep that around, but what can you do? Well, that's fine, I think. Maybe he's just thinking if he gets rid of this, then I might have trouble with Hatram. Which is kind of true. Then we just go Charizard. I'd rather keep Hatrum health. Oh, sorry, double aid healthy. Okay, Billy Bass is in. All we gotta do is defog this nonsense and we should be good. Liquidation does a shitload. Okay. So, here's what we do. We... I need a bit of damage on Jolteon, I reckon. Go Dead Blade first. I'm going to go right for the Shadow Claw. That is zero. This thing's a monster. <laughs> I'm really debating whether or not we kill with plus one Bug Buzz, the Jolteon. Maybe. Because it's between, like... Is it more likely that I kill that with plus one Bug Buzz? Or that I Shadow Sneak, live a Thunderbolt, and then kill it? I'll just do this, whatever. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> it happens. It happens, man. Yes. Believe it, friend. That shit just happened. <laughs> Listen, I didn't ask for the hacks, but sometimes you receive these blessings. I will, out of interest, though, calc Thunderbolt on a Selgor. Yeah, so that crit probably did matter, because I'm pretty sure a Selgor dies to 
I spex Thunderbolt, if that's what it was. Oh well, what can you do? I won't lose any sleep over it. So this is going to be fucking rough. I can tell you that now. We have to rely on Oranguru, I think. I really wish I had Grass Pledge. Hmm. Yeah, Selgor's not going to be... Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is useful. I'll, I'll lead a Ranguru and see what we can do. Because of Remitis. Don't quite know what to expect from this. So Dino, okay. Well, this is specifically for dealing with Ordino. Because it can take a... I guess it can't take a knockoff. It's supposed to be able to take a knockoff. Did I EV it wrong? Or it just has some attack investment? I don't know what's going on. It's, uh, the numbers I ran say that it guaranteed takes one, so I'm a little bit confused if I'm honest. Oh, what is this? Neutralizing gas. Let's go to this. Just Hurricane. Corsola, okay. Scorching Sands. Die, bitch. That's doing fuck all damage. Nice. Catch the Corsler again. That's what I'm talking about. One down. Ordino's in. Go straight to Savali. And I guess we just defog. Don't need that nonsense hanging around. Do we see an item? Can't remember. So we'll go to Oranguru. Try and get some use out of this goddamn thing. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. The thing is, stall is like it's. There's no actual thought process there. It's just you know one to the other. Very, very uh, mechanical in the way it's played. You know what I mean? Let's see how much we do with this out of interest. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's, that's good to know. So, Pharisees in. I need wheezing a little bit lower before I can kill it. And Aromatis with a Selgor, I mean. So we'll go to this. We'll go for the, the safe flamethrower. Okay. Back to Savali. How much are we doing with Hurricane? Maybe we get a confusion on this thing. Well, that's the shit I like. Well, Savali here. Yeah, there's the, the breakthrough. Multi attack here on the Fair Seed. Alas. For all you know, I could have flamethrower. So that's very brave staying in there. Let me just say that. Okay, let's get the rocks up. Do 
Right, now's the time to suck the monkey. And then we can go to Selgor. Now let's see what we can do from here. Pharisee is going to get dropped. With a couple of these. Yeah, that's looking good. And with the mod shot for wheezing. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Boom! That's another fatty down. Or Dino comes in, my favourite. <laughs> that does fuck all. For Matisse, let's just sludge you. Oh my god, it's so good. This is... Mwah! Chef's kiss. So good. And we just got to break through Big Quag. Savelli. How much we do to this? It'd be fuck all, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so I could definitely go double and CC. But he definitely brings in Quagsire. So maybe this is better. Let's go straight for a hurricane. Since store players don't think, they just click the counter. We know he's going to do that. I'm just going to hurricane a couple more times. beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Hurricane once more. You see, this is what Soul players don't think about what they're doing. Now it's going to do massive damage. Ooh, yeah, that's very nice. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The savage dismantling of Stor. And now that opens up the... Actually, doesn't really open up much. Ooh! <laughs> Let's defog that nonsense away. Yeah, I, I really wish I had Grass Pledge here, but what can you do? So we're gonna U-turn. Go Pilot Swine is not really useful, honestly. Is this... He didn't take rocks damage, did he? So, Boots Quagsire, Boots Ordino. Fuck me. Disgusting. I don't know what to do here. We're just going to go for some chip before we die to burn or whatever the fuck. Try and get some flinches off. Some power flinch. Do it. Alright, you turn here. Go to a Selgor. Go double blade. Charizard, now we hurricane. Try and get some confusion hacks on this thing. You know how it is. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. One more. That's all we need. This is the greatest game of my life. I've peaked in Pokemon Showdown. I've just scorching sands a couple times, because why not? Yeah, you're a funny guy. You're a very funny guy. But guess what? I got a grass move. I don't give a shit what you do. <laughs> Come on, Charizard. You, get the burn. Get the burn. What shall I say to him?
What what move shall I click to end it? I'll let him choose. Mud slap. Oh, I don't have that, so I'm gonna click energy ball instead. Get him the fuck out of there. GG. We go Palace one. And we go to Suvali. I'll tell you what, Swords Dance is going straight on this thing next time I play. I, I promise you it is. Let's give her a surf. A little bit of chip. Might as well go to this and get some rocks up. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's a good play. And nope, we'll not be hanging around there. Flareon's fine, this is we have thick fat, it's whatever. And the earthquake just murders it. Unless he's like banded superpower. That is unfortunate, but hopefully not game changing. Hmm, let's go to Valley. Or, yeah, no, I'll just Earthquake again. The problem is, he's gonna go fucking Ordino, and I can't really help that. Maybe a Ranguru. That's not supposed to break subs. I'm really annoyed by that. Right, do it again. Trick room, okay, let's just nature power. Maybe get a cheeky power or something. Maybe you want to run the calc it was with Colberberry. I don't know. Okay, well that drops, obviously. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, it's okay, like, it's decent. It's next power. Oh, he has Ice Cold Spear, unfortunate. So we can either go to Dubblade here, which is okay. Or... Yeah, yeah, I guess double is okay. Because this is presumably choice band. Just Drud. Let's go for a, a fat Shadow Claw. Not great. Alright, whatever. Let's just multi-attack this thing, get rid of it. I, I tell you what, a Swords Dance Suvali Poison would win this game instantly. With like, Psychic Fangs or something. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so we take a load of chip, that's unfortunate. We might take a hit from more Peko, I don't really know those numbers. More Peko's a threat though, no doubt.
Oh, there it is. There's the big boy. Let's just go straight for the multi-attack. So we fucking died at Aura Wheel. Oh. Well, it doesn't have protect, that's great. Now we can do this. We get our blaze boosted flamethrower. That's kind of weird, not running protect on that thing though. I thought that was standard. Okay, sure. Let's go for a nice flamethrower. Get some damage off. That's pretty good. You little rat. It's a trick room. Would he have a move that hits all of these? Maybe crunch, I don't know. Okay, that's good. We just gotta time it just right so Glastria doesn't annihilate us. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. I just gotta stall out a couple of turns. So we sack part of swine. Oh, the fucking. I've lost my boots. Didn't realize. Well, that's bad. That's very bad news. I think we can still get away with it. Because we basically just CC here. Right. Go for a big hit. Then we go to this thing. And then we have plus one mod shot, which we pray to God kills Garbador. Or, you know, we dodge maybe. I don't know. You ready for this moment of truth? Oh no! He's White Herb? Why is he White Herb? All the weak armor shit? Alright. Yep, yeah, you got me. So for this last one, ironically, I just put Sword Stance on this thing because I'm fucking sick of Ordino. However, <laughs> Surf would definitely be better here for Agron, so... What can you do? Definitely gonna have a problem with the... Wishy washy once again, I would say that. I, I think we've got to go Pilus one. Don't think there's any choice. Just ice cool crash this thing. I mean, he should go wishy washy as the safe play. Yeah, okay. So a little bit of chip there, not terrible. I think Oranguru is going to be kind of dead weight here, so we'll just do this. Come to think of it, do you know what would be a good set on this thing? AV with knockoff. That would be quite nice actually. Goddamn Whimsicott's in. Let's just go to Charizard. No! Got a Hurricane here. Let's see what we can catch. Yep, that is good damage. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Now we just need to hit again. I got a little surprise for you. No! Why is he still alive? Oh, I don't believe it. This is horse shit. How about this? How about we go with Selgor here? Go for the mud shot. I mean, hopefully he goes Garbodor, that would be pretty funny. 
Wishy wash is low. This thing is. Uh, I don't know, just sack a Rangaroo. Don't need it. <laughs> That's a classic. I'm gonna have a nice big hit there. Oh my god. Unbelievable hacks. Okay. Well, that means we can now just pick it off with a server, which is great. I'm going to go part of swine. Now the wishy washy is actually in range of our attacks, so we just earthquake it this turn. Yep, get him out. Because that thing's so goddamn slow. Whimsicott, right. You're a problem. Let's go Savali. I, I doubt we are psychic on this set. Honestly. We'll just U-turn. I need you lower. So Icicle Crash would be fine. I just need a bit of damage. Sea bomb does fuck all. It's probably in range, honestly. Ah, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now what kind of Savali are we dealing with? Savali Ghost. Bro, you are not... I, I guarantee you are not beating Palaswine. Like that. You know how fat this thing is? <laughs> Get him out of there. Alright, sweet. It's an icicle crash. I reckon we take a hit from this thing. That could happen. <laughs> Listen, if I can take Life Orb, a Cell Rock from Lycan Rock, I reckon we take an unboosted gunk shot. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Now this thing goes down to whatever. What a way to finish, ladies and gents. You know what? It's kind of a scuffed Pokemon. <laughs> I think there's way too many Ordino in this tier. So if you really want to get some good use out of this thing, I would suggest bringing some kind of... I don't, I don't even know what you'd bring. Like I bought this thinking it could set up on Ordino, but clearly it can't, so I don't know what I was talking about with those calcs. Maybe... maybe something fatter with Calm Minds. Or, you know, a decent fighting type, like Scrafty to break down Ordino. I don't know, man, and I just lost my Oranguru. Just think of something to take down Ordino, and it'll probably do alright. You know, decent offensive capabilities there. The coverage is reasonable. Again, you could run Focus Miss if you want to, but I'm not a big fan of that. But it's fun. I had fun using this one. Hope you enjoyed this one, folks, and I'll see you all next time.